You may be seated. We come now to that point in our order of worship where we pause to come before the Lord in prayer, lifting up those joys, those concerns, those thanksgivings that we might have for ourselves or for other persons. As we come together in prayer this morning, I got a text from Angie Clendenin who says that her daughter Bella is under the weather. They're taking her to the doctor today. So let's keep Bella in our prayers. Also, she told me of a central student by the name of Ty Mullins who has a rare form of cancer and is receiving treatment for that. So let's keep Ty Mullins in our prayer. Also, let's continue to keep Rick Campbell and his family in our prayers and David Knight and his family in our prayers as well. Also, we're lifting up Jim Light in our prayers. We're lifting up Bill Myeri, that's Debbie's dad. He is somewhere on the way to rehab soon. So, so let's keep that situation in our prayers. Let's uh, pray for Casey Bishop. And, uh, my notes incomplete. Casey Bishop's it's the baby. The baby of, of Casey Bishop. Let's keep uh, that baby in our prayer. Also, uh, Ricky Kilgore uh, died this past week. That's the nephew of. Uh, Mr. Kilgore, so let's keep that family in our prayers. Are there other things we need to lift up in prayer this morning? Got one down front here. Body. We need to keep the Crest family, the Crest family in, in our prayers. That's Greg and Connie and, and uh, Ruby. Uh, but anyway, they have his service this evening, so okay. keep them in our prayers. The Crest family. What else? <coughs> well, let's go before the Lord in prayer then. Most gracious and most holy God, we just give you thanks that we have this opportunity to gather in this place today. We don't always appreciate your presence in our lives. Sometimes we get so busy and caught up in doing the things that we do that sometimes you get pushed to the back burner. Sometimes you may even be forgotten for a spell in our lives. But we are so glad that we don't get pushed to the back burner, that we don't get forgotten by you, that indeed you know all about us and that you're concerned about all the things happening to us and that you are seeking the best for us. We may not always understand what that is and what that means, but we have faith. We believe that we can trust you, and if we will let go enough, we can actually put you in control. Today, Lord, help us to let go. Help us to release those things that we're holding on to that keep us from coming to you in the way that you want us to come. Help us to let go of those things that block our relationship with you and block our relationships with other people and that stop us from seeing the world the way that you see it. Instead of being cynical the way we are, Lord, let us see the world through your eyes. Let us be compassionate. Let us be caring. Let us be loving people responding to the needs of those that we encounter around us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all that you do for us and, and for these prayer requests that we've lifted up this morning. Let your spirit move in the lives of these people. Touch them. Heal them. Guide them. Strengthen them. Let them feel your peace and let us do what we need to do to share your love with them as well. All these things we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our crucified Lord and Savior. Amen. <clears throat> 